Learn how to target your rec film for maximum development. All right, guys, since the quad sweep video did so well, I thought let's go ahead and dig into some other more muscles of our quad. So let's start here with the rec fem. Two very cool things. I learned both these techniques from John Meadows, how to work this portion of my quad. And the first one is gonna be on this leg extension. So let's get on here, let's hop right on it and go right to work. So if you notice here how I have this machine set, setting up the leg extension, this is huge. So I hear a lot of people complain about legs and hurting their knees. The bolt of this pivot point has to be at my knee. And then look at the location of the pad to my ankle. And then lastly, look at the range of motion of I have this entire arm. I'm not pulling my feet underneath of me. That puts way too much tension on my quad tendon and we do not want that. So let's start there with a little just safety tip on how to set one of these bad boys up. Because honestly, all leg extensions can be great or they can be complete trash if you don't know how to adjust it properly. So in order to work our rec fem, the top muscle, the top portion of our quad, what we want to think about is our foot. So I'm getting him to come over here and look at my feet. If I dorsiflex my feet, meaning pull my toes towards my shins, that's going to turn on my rec fem. If I plantar flex, that's all going to be VMO, so that teardrop, the muscle above your knee. So let's bang some reps of this rec fem focus leg extension. Every single rep, I'm thinking about actively pulling my toes towards my shin. And when I get to the top, I need to fully shorten. Bam, I'm tight, tight, tight. If you could feel that muscle, it is literally, when I get to the top, bam, rock hard. And then with, when I do these specifically for this muscle, I hold the contraction for one to two seconds. Bam, one, two. Make that muscle fire. Phew, one, two. One, two. Remember, pull those toes towards your shins the whole time. <clears throat> one, two. All right guys, so another cool technique, if you really wanna dial in and hit this muscle effectively, is do it one leg at a time. So again, same technique and premise, I'm just gonna kick my non-working leg out to the side here. I'm gonna dorsiflex my toe, meaning pull it towards my shin, come up, fully shorten, one, two. Same technique, I'm really gonna control, bam, one, two. Fully shorten that muscle, contract it, feel it, touch it with your finger. Bam, one, two. One, two, now for the other leg, it's a little harder with this, of this type of machine, because you kind of kind of just got to kick this right leg underneath you. Bam, one, two. One, two, just like that, fully short. One, two. One, two, remember pulling that toe towards you the entire time. All right, so with this, I would do this at the very end of my quad session. So if I'm particularly focusing on that rec film, I do this very last before I go into some RDL. So three sets of anywhere between 10 and 20, and then you can obviously do you know, drop sets. You can really focus on loading and holding the contract position, really slowing down those negatives would be great ways to intensify this exercise and make it really effective. As I said at the beginning of this video, John taught me how to do this 50 squat and this technique it looks like it's really easy or a total glute exercise, but I'm telling you, if you do this right, it will light your quads and specifically your rec fem on fire. So if you look here, how we have the sissy squat set, I'm just gonna step into it. And that front pad adjustment forces my knees to where, I'm sorry, my ankles to where they can't slide forward and they can't slide back. And then lastly, look where that's located to where I can get really good deep reps. It comes a few, inches below the pit of my knee on the back. This is where you'll find most people start and finish all reps on sissy squats. It's up here. Now look, I'm not loaded whatsoever at all. I'm not loaded. Now, watch what I'm gonna do here to start. Load that quad, bam, right there. My rec film and VMO and sweep is fully turned on. So, tall posture with your chest, tilt it back this whole time, sit back deep, 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 and then bam, fire your hips through. Squeeze your glutes and then pop that muscle hard. Here, sit back, I'm gonna show you one more. Bam! Again, here, fire, 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 boom! Every single rep has to look like that if you wanna target the rec film. It is not easy. <laughs> it will challenge you, you'll want to just literally quit. I'm telling you, it's that bad. What I love to do here is use this as a quad finisher. So what I mean by that is after I hit those rec fem focused leg extensions of my last exercise, use this as just to blow it up. Go over, do one absolute death set where until you can't stand up, you literally have to roll out of the sissy squat. It is miserable because if you don't do that, if you structure it more towards the beginning of your workout, what you'll find is you either have to load it in a Smith machine or with bands or holding dumbbells. And to me, that's just not optimal for the sissy squat. Another very cool finisher you could do that I've done for many years is 
hammer sissy squats and then do lunges and then come back and do sissy squats so you can't stand up. You talk about brutal, <laughs> that will test your soul and your heart. So all different ways to hit that rec fem using the sissy squat and the leg extension. It's really, really a great piece. All right guys, let's say your gym doesn't have a sissy squat. And by the way, if you want one, they're a hundred dollars on Amazon, super cheap. I have one at my house. It's really nice. Again, with shipping, it was under a hundred dollars. So again, invest some money in your fitness. So let's say you don't have that and you're waiting for it to come in. And I still wanna do that sissy squat. So what I'm gonna think about here is I'm gonna do mimic the exact same portion. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fully shorten my glutes. Let me pull my short up so you can see it. Like when I say that, I wanna end with my glutes, here with my torso, and then all I wanna do is just sit back on my heels. Just like that. And up, pulling with that rec fem. Keep the glutes in, here. Just like that. If you do 20 of those at that pace, <laughs> your quads will be thumping, specifically your right film. So give that a shot if you don't have a sissy squat. Now, do I think that's quite as beneficial? I don't think it's quite as, but it's a great alternative. It's gonna be a substitution. So if you have access to a sissy squat, just jump inside that bad boy. You can also do it in a hack squat, and that's where we'll go next. All right, so let's say you don't wanna do that kneeling piece, and you have a good hack squat that you can load effectively and properly. Let me show you how you can do a sissy squat on that. Learned this from Tom Platts, by the way. And if you follow him, he has the best quads in bodybuilding history, probably. So what I want to think about here is unrack the bar, then all I'm gonna do is shoot my hips off the pad and get up on my toes. So we're here, so watch what I did there. All I did was flex my glutes, bam, pop my hips, and then we're gonna go down slow and controlled, bottom it out on my hamstrings, poof, right there. Sissy squat, or a hack squat. And my quads, holy shit, with no load, are thumping. So you notice I'm not doing this fast or jerky. This is not heavy load at all. Keep my hips up the whole time. Sink down good deep and up. There you have it. How to hammer that rec film and really get the most activation out of that mu muscle your quad. I'm telling you right now, if you want to focus on that, so when your contest lean, that bad boy is dug out, shredded. I've even seen those people have striations. That's my goal next, is I want that fucker strided. <laughs> so at the ends of my prep, I always at least double down on the leg extensions, hammer a bunch of sissy squats to really get that muscle good and prominent and full, because to me, when you're on stage and your body fat's almost all gone, and you're fully separated up to your hip, that muscle right there just looks nasty. So. Again, I grew up in the 2000s, early 90s, watching bodybuilding, and you know those dudes always had that muscle just popping and ripped, and that's what I want. So again, if you guys do too, build this into your routine, and I'm telling you right now, it will be better, and you'll be able to work it harder and more effectively. Thanks for following along, guys. We really appreciate all the support. Like, share, and subscribe.